here representing a group called SCLC. Does anybody know who SCLC is or who started SCLC? Okay, SCLC, the Southern Christian Leadership Conference, is a group started by a young man named Martin Luther King. Anybody ever heard of him? Mm -hmm. Yes, Dr. King started that organization because there were too many things going on in society that were aimed at keeping young black people from voting. And one of the major issues is people don't realize that when you vote, you control things. I was telling your principal yesterday, I said, you all, you all know that the school board works for you because we have an elected school board here in Richmond. And if you want things to change in your school and you want things to be better for you, the easiest way to accomplish that is to vote because you get to tell the person who represents your district <coughs> This is what we need at our school, and we need you to represent this when you are on the school board, and if not, we'll put somebody in place who will. That's what makes your vote powerful. You get to put people in place who will work on your behalf. So let me ask you a question. Somebody tell me, what's the number one problem that you would perceive right now in Richmond or in the United States? Somebody just give me an answer. One, the number one problem for young people, not for old folk. Our number one problem is we want more social security money or something like that, you know, retirement benefit. You all are, are 40 years from social security. So right now you have issues that are not our issues. What is the number one issue for young people? Any one person. Gun violence, see? Go ahead, my friend. Huh? Attendance? Here at school? Yes. All right. So she said gun violence and he said attendance. Both of those are extremely important. But the only way to get gun violence changed is for young people to vote. Because there's a group of people out there that believe that guns should be everywhere. I think the uh, lieutenant governor took a picture of herself holding a, uh, an AR-15 when she was running for office. And I was saying to myself, what, what are you, what picture are you sending to young people that you're running for office holding an assault weapon? So you need to vote to do that. The Sandy Hook generation, which is somewhat of your generation, the kids who have had to deal with gun violence, they're voting for people who want to change the gun law, all right, who want to change the gun law. Now, attendance, how can you affect attendance with the school board, or what can we do to make attendance better here at school, or do you have any idea? Okay, but that's a point of discussion. I'm glad you brought it up, because that's some of the things that you all should be talking about. I'm not gonna take up too much of your time, but, the Southern Christian Leadership Conference, FCLC, that I represent, and the Urban League, the Richmond Crusade for Voters, the NAACP, all of us got together because we realized that the power that you have is when you're united. You don't have power working by yourself. Five of y'all don't mean much if the two or three of y'all got a little click over here and five of y'all over there. But this whole senior class, y'all got power. You have power as a group if you're unified. If you come up with ideas and things that you want to change your school, you have the power to get it done because there's power in numbers. So we all got together and we did this flight. And it says, why should I vote? Why should I vote? Because too many people, people at your home, people in your community, don't go out to vote and they don't realize that's why you don't get the money for your schools that you deserve. That's why it took forever for them to decide to try to build a new George with high school. That's why a lot of the issues that you all deal with don't get addressed because people who are older than you have decided there's no reason for them to vote. And that's exactly the opposite. The reason to vote is so you do get these things addressed. So on here, it says, why should I vote? One of my CSS says to, to demonstrate your determination to fight injustice. All right, now everybody understands what we mean by injustice. 
We know that young African Americans are locked up, put in jail, or disciplined, or, or the discipline you receive is not comparable to the discipline that other people receive. In the courts, sometimes in school, sometimes with the school board, you need to vote to make sure people understand that. There are other reasons on here, I was sharing with Mr. Metcalf that we put the QR code on the back for each one of you, and we also put the QR code here on the front for you to register to vote. I'm asking you, for your future, for the future of other people, consider registering to vote as soon as possible. I thank Mr. Metcalf, I thank Mr. Scott for the opportunity to speak to you all. Please make sure that you register to vote. This is your world that you're living in. You're going to change this world for better or for worse, depending on what you do. If you vote and you tell people and you hold them accountable, you're going to change this world for the better. It's the world you and your children will live in. And make sure that you look out for us old folk too on that when you vote. Thank you very much. And uh, my dear friend, Materity, uh, your wonderful president of the senior class is going to make sure that everybody gets a copy of this. I thank you very much for your time and God bless all of you. Thank you.